Hey, I'm Mark Lonergan, and this is video number three in the Boston Teachers Union Teacher Portfolio Project. This video is going to talk about themes and colors, how to adjust them for your own um, template to make it more customized. Uh, we're going to talk about the difference between view and edit mode. We're going to talk about how to change the color, the design. We're going to talk about emphasis colors, how to change the navigation from the top to the side. And again, look at how to preview the site before we publish it. First thing I want to do is talk about the difference between edit and view mode. See if you can notice the difference between this and this. This first one is called viewer mode. This is what the audience will see when you share your website address with them. The second one is editor mode. This is what you will be seeing as you build and design your website, kind of like this on your screen. Um, important to know how to get back and forth between each of these modes. So if you're in editor mode and you want to see what it will look like from a viewer's point of view, you're going to go up next to the publish button. There's an arrow that points down and one of the choices will be view published site. So you can always use that as a resource. Um, you can also use the preview button like we talked about last time. If you're in edit mode and you want, or if you're in viewer mode and you want to switch to editor mode instead, you can see that there's a little button at the bottom of the screen that says edit this page. If you click on that, it'll open up the editing features for you if you have permission. So now let's get to the fun stuff. How do I adjust the themes, the colors, and the fonts, and the design of my web page? Let's do the easiest one first, navigation. I have two choices. I can have my navigation along the top, like this, or I can have navigation that goes along the side. If I want to switch to side navigation, I'm going to go over to this little settings button right here um, and click on that, and it only gives me two choices, top navigation or side navigation. If I switch to side navigation, it doesn't show up in editor mode. But if I come over to click the preview button, I'm going to see what that side menu would look like. It looks okay, but see how it kind of cuts off part of my screen? I'm going to see on other size screens, like on an iPad or an iPhone, it looks a little bit better because it's going to be hidden until I click on it. But on that, if someone's using the big screen, it's uh, not something I like the look of. So you can make your own decision, but for me, I'm going to change it back to top navigation. To adjust colors and everything else, you're going to go over to the side menu and press the button that says Themes. Now, one of the nice things about Google Sites is that you pick, you have few choices, but once you pick a choice, it will make the changes for your whole website. So you don't have to worry about one page looking very different from the other pages. Um, there's a few templates you can choose from. Uh, and then within, when it, within each template, there's also some variations. So I'm going to say, let's try, not Persian, sorry. I'm going to try Diplomat. And within Diplomat, I can do a couple things. I can adjust with some of the preset colors. Um, and we'll see how that will change some of the background colors and subheadings based on which button I'm choos choosing. Or I can also add my own color. I'm a really big fan this week of orange, so I'm going to orange in there, and that's what it'll look like um, with this template. In addition to adjusting the colors, I can also adjust the font style. Um, now it's not the same as a document, so there's not hundreds of different font choices. You'll get two or three for each one of these templates, and you can decide which one is the right look for you. There's light, there's heavy, there's classic, and I'm a big fan of light. So um, do what works for you, but I think that one looks kind of nice for me. 
in addition to um, adjusting with the themes, there's two other places where you can customize this. One is behind your header. There's If you hover over there, it's, it gives you a choice to change image. And if you click on that, um, you can upload an image you've taken or found, or you can select an image, and they've got a pretty nice library of images you can choose from, including some just colorful background banners, and then some things that are a little bit more festive. Um, the goal is to try to choose something in, that's in that sweet spot between eye-catching without being overwhelming for your ears. I'm going to choose try this one on and see what it looks like. Oh, kind of lovely. And then in addition, there's one more thing. See how Google just changed it to match my theme colors. And then there's one more thing I can do to add some color if I want to, which is that in each section of text on my page, it'll give me a choice on the side to change the background color. If I hover over a section, uh, one of the choices is this. There's three different buttons here, including a palette. If I press the palette, it just gives me two or three choices. Regular, which is usually white. Emphasis, which is slight, a slight difference. And then emphasis number two, which is usually more pronounced. I'm going to try emphasis number two for this. And I will preview and see if I'm happy with my choices. Hmm. It's interesting enough for now. Let me go back and make sure we did what we said we were going to do. We talked about view versus edit, we changed the color, we talked about emphasis color and navigation, and we previewed. So thanks for watching, and we hope to see you next time.